What is Alibaba going to do? Is he going to pull on some diplomacy? Like, oh, please, the peepers! Or is he going to be like, you're dead. You're dead to me. <laughs> no way we're allowing the leader of the Fog Troop to enter here! Oh, look, the people are revolting with him! Oh, shit! Oh, he's giving them no choice. Oh, no. Just open the gates. If you do, I'll tell this crowd to Oh, whoa. Yo, look at that pose. <laughs> Oh, dude! This country is about to change. <laughs> that reminds me. <laughs> oh, we're getting a new intro. No, Netflix, we're not skipping this. Um, I was gonna say it reminds me of the Hunger Games, you know, with uh, Jennifer Lawrence character. You know, I I I volunteer as tribute, whatever she did. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, look, for starters, this song is way better than the first opening. Hey, what was that? The face was, like, burnt, maybe? Look at all these mysterious peoples. Dude, this show is just very particular. Like, you just could recommend it to anyone and be like, yeah, watch this show. And then literally have no expectations because the show... Is going to surprise you. Oh my god, the boobies! <laughs> but with the fractures all over his body, it'll take Whoa. some time before. Good, I don't want to see him again. <laughs> Why should I have to be the one who gets married <laughs> off for political reasons? <laughs> they should have just made Hakoe take on a role. Who's Hakoe? Since she's the previous emperor's what? daughter. Oh, she's thinking about Sinbad and. I wish I had a chance. Oh, to I was just about to say that. Now she wants to be a warrior. But she doesn't want to be forced into a relationship. She wants, you know, the feels. I'm not even allowed to see my husband's face until the wedding. Oh, she doesn't even know who she's marrying! Oh my god, I can't wait for that reaction. I hope he's an enchanted man. Oh, no. Oh my god, it is you. This is gonna be fun. Even the fiercest oh. fighters in our national troops had no chance against Whoa. them. Whoa. What do you think about appointing them as your bodyguards? What? Splendid. Make sure you serve Mr. Well. Double Chen? It's about to get some bodyguards? Yo, I... I've come to settle things with I you. give him... So you should <laughs> I give him props. Away. He went there alone, and here I thought he had potential to do this, but he's got day. bodyguards now. Yeah. I've had enough. Oh no. You gotta send the big one, huh? <laughs> you and I have met. Whoa, before. he speaks? You you're really a foolish boy, you know. Oh. <gasps> All right. The whole elephant thing. How the hell does he do that? All you did was have like a few hours of training, my guy. I can't wait. I don't know if he's ready. Whoa! Whoa! Here I thought it was just a little small spark, but it did some damage. Ah, here's my snout. Oh man! Come on! Don't tell me it's already. Oh! Can, can he do this already? No? No, good. I need more. no, he's not more. ready. More. I don't think he's ready. Whoa. Are you trying to tell me that I'm Whoa. not fit to you? Is that a possibility or or does Alibaba need to find worth? I mean, holy shit. He gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm sorry. It's just when village through the ha 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 ha. It's just it's hilarious. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Yo, for a second there, I'm like, who, who, where's that baby coming from? <laughs> Don't cry, Alibaba. Do it for mommy. I want to leave. Yo, I swear, your dad is Dracula. 
I mean... No! What? No! No, that's like a metaphor. He did not just get his throat slit. Useless, with no power. No, that's a f no. That's a metaphor, right? Like he's thinking, "Oh my God, my throat's gonna get slit." Useless as a priest. What the fuck? Whoa, Aladdin! You're a brave person. Is he really there? Oh look, he stabbed him! Oh no! I'm going to smash you to Whoa, this is not my final form, final form! Holy f- ah! Yo, I really want to know what his like, re thing, whatever it's gonna look like. Oh. Whoa. Yo, he just sliced him in half! Alright, deuces! I did it! Oh! Oh, what is that? <laughs> Certainly, you needn't worry about a thing. Oh, you're gonna send your... After all, you still have other bodies. Yeah, no. You sure about that? Oh, what? He really... He really sent monkeys! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. They're fierce dungeon creatures possessing oh, the intelligence. That's cheating. They use some cheat codes. Whoa! Oh, well, there's that. You can burn him to a crisp. Oh, here comes mommy. Oh, what did you do to my kids? Oh, he's gonna run out. Is that Morgiana? <laughs> Yo, those thick ass thighs. That was pretty selfish of you. Meow. I mean, I hope she's legal. <laughs> what is she doing? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know. Oh, is she gonna throw him up there? <laughs> Whoa! What can she do? You're the ones who will end up in tears. Crying and oh, okay, that that really bothers me. You telling me you had all this power? You could have never been a slave this whole time. I don't get it. This child, he seems. Oh, he's waking up. Maybe. Oh, one more guard. Oh my God, it's a thunder cat! Ah, oh, there goes your sword. Oh, <laughs> he runs out of magic. Well, uh, well, I love his battle stance. I mean, it, it's extremely cocky to fight with one hand behind your back. Oh, what is that? Oh. Oh, that is awesome. Oh! What are you, Natsu? Really? Okay, that's freaking awesome! <laughs> okay, alright, alright. You, you caught me by surprise. <laughs> Jesus, girl! Whoa! No way, I'm ever running what away. is she doing? Slingshot attack? Whoa! I'm telling you, baby girl and her thighs. Whoa! Yo, the people gotta be like, "Fuck is going on over there?" Monsters yeah! Do this. Holy shit! Well, banker. It appears those bodyguards were useless, <laughs> were they not? Yeah. We won't be killing each other today. Really? All that for this? Kill him. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Just do it. Whoa. I have no intention of fighting. Really? Kill him. <laughs> He's nothing but trash from the slums. Don't listen to a word he said. <laughs> Why did they give him a list? Let me go. Kill him. He needs to be Stop stopped. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, it would be awesome if he's the one that kills him. Suppress all the palace guards! Oh! But are you losing your mind? You traitor! Here comes the rebellion, buddy! Don't start listening to this! Punch him in the face! He's no king! He took the scepter? Whatever the hell that thing is. As 
deputy king of Baldbot, I command you. What? Nobody will thwart the dis all of you and put your spears down. Right, you've been you, sir. It's over. So you're stating a coup d'etat, oh. huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've come to change the state this country's in. Your rule is over, Ahmad. All right. And that's awesome. You got a new outro as well. And this song feels very Naruto. Oh, thanks, Netflix. I wasn't done watching that. How do I go back? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh my god, why wasn't this the intro song? This song feels very shonen. No, I... A plus. I really like this outro song. Alright. <laughs> Today's episode can uh, solidify my opinion as far as Magi, Magi, excuse me. Uh, this show's freaking awesome. I, I'm in. I, I like, I love the tension. I love, uh, the violence, the imagery, the cinematography, the musical score, the characters. Everything is just coming into place. What makes Magi so brilliant, and I already said it before, is it's not just the political aspect of the show, but I also like this aspect of the show where it's not your typical shonen trope. It's not your typical, you know, story uh, trope, you know, where a character has a dream and he wants to go fulfill it. You know, this is not about finding one piece or wanting to be the Hokage. Literally, our characters are thrown into this situation where they're like, I didn't ask for this, you know? And I think that's the best type of stories where, like, our characters have to deal with this situation and we have to see it happen. And I feel like now, more than ever, I can say, yep, yeah, the, thumbs up, thumbs up, it, it's freaking awesome. Magi hit the level of what I expect, like, this is great, good stuff. I guess that term of, uh, just keep watching, it gets better, you know? I'm not saying I didn't like it before, but now I'm just blown away. So, alright, cool, cool stuff, Um, we pretty much... Just got a coup de tat, you know, the rebellion has arrived with pretty much one person in Alibaba. He came and he took uh, Ahmad down uh, pretty much all by himself. Yeah, yeah, or Morgiana helped him out, but it was really all him. The Coal Empire's banker person thing guy was there, right? And he brought some bodyguards for Ahmad, but Alibaba took two of them down and Morgiana took one of them down. It's weird because Alibaba didn't have the intentions to kill Ahmad. So I don't know what he was going to do there. Was he just going to wait for Ahmad to surrender? Like, what's up with that? I'm glad that Samad usurped and he took the crown and he's like, yo, I'm king now. This little fat bastard is done. We're done. We're going to fix this freaking country. Oh, yeah. But how? <laughs> you guys are freaking broke. Uh, you guys have no currency. Uh, I don't know how about the food uh, supplies. And then the co-empire is coming. So, fuck. <laughs> but then again, you have Simbad, So, he is the king of his own country. So, maybe he's able to help out. I still have a feeling that Simbad's country um, is still probably overthrown or took down. Who knows? We haven't seen, we haven't seen his country. So, for the fact that the king hasn't been in his own country for a while... Who knows the damage that the Co Empire could be doing to his own country. But I guess time will tell. Alright, um, wow! Holy fuck! Really, really good episode. Freaking fantastic. It's so, alright! That about wraps up my video for today. Discuss with me and others by leaving me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. And as always, God bless you. Thanks so much for watching and free well for now. Bye-bye.